Al McGuire's Hoops, brought to you by Miller Genuine Draft. Cold filtered for real draft smoothness. It's beer at its best. This is my first opportunity to work a game in the new Dean Dome, 21,000 plus seats. The building costs $34 million, all privately raised funds, no tax dollars. In fact, had I, of course, I prefer the courtside seat. If I had wanted to have the right to purchase these seats, it would have cost me a donation of a quarter million dollars for the right to buy eight tickets to watch Tar Heel basketball. Hey, Dixie! Hey, Dixie, up here! I told you the Dino was a friend of mine. I laid a big donation on him. Bingo, bango, bongo, see, huh? Uh, Bob Euchre could not have said it better. What pros? <laughs> Nevertheless, on the serious side, this is, this building, a testimony to the greatness of the Hall of Fame coach of North Carolina. I think it really came about in the middle 70s when uh, new people moving in, and it cost so much to join the found educational foundation in order to get tickets and they couldn't get tickets, faculty people couldn't get tickets, students couldn't get tickets, and there was a ticket demand. And some people with uh, the Board of Trustees said, well, let's build a bigger place and make it a nice place. Not necessarily the biggest, but certainly one of quality, and I think they succeeded in that. You can see it from a distance, just slightly above the tree line, at a cost of nearly $34 million. It took four years to complete and it just might be the best basketball arena in the country. The worst seat in the house is only 150 feet away. It's a tribute to the basketball program and to the man. And having a building named after a person while you're still in the prime, this has to give you a great feeling. Actually, it was uh, more of an embarrassment, I think, when they suggested it. Uh, you know, the people that raised the money, the chancellor, the uh, faculty, but. Uh, you know, I, I accept it with the idea that all of a sudden the real, uh, all these 152 lettermen I have, all of a sudden named Smith, adopted names, because it should be named after the players that created the interest here, and consequently uh, they raised $39 million from private sources. It's also uh, an honor, I don't want to say it isn't. But I wish there was some way they could have said, you know, for the players because they're the ones that did it. And uh, especially those last, in the 80s and late 70s, those teams that created so much interest that people wanted to see the game, so they needed to build a bigger place. In tribute to the greats who have played for UNC, giant jerseys hang from the rafters, looming as large as the legacies they left behind. Worthy, Perkins, Cunningham. Jordan, and of course, championship banners remind us just how successful the program has been. But despite the ultimate honor of having an arena named after him, Dean Smith isn't about to let it affect his game plan today or in the future. Let's say in 10 years you tap out, you've gone by your prime time. What would you want the round ball world to say about you? Whether anyone said anything about us, I think you could say that uh, we play hard, we play pretty smart sometimes, and we'd like to, but I don't want to even go back. Uh, I'd like to take a year at a time, and like you said, something will come in line that you might like to do other than coach, but right now I enjoy each new year because it's a new team. Like Bill Fitz said, how would you like to coach the same team for nine years straight? You know, maybe that would get old. And for a small donation, <laughs> I'll, really? let, I'll let you sit with me. <laughs> i tell you what, Dick, you can see good up there. It's nosebleed heaven, you need binoculars, but you can see. Al McGuire Dome, we never saw that. They didn't build a stadium for you at, uh, at Marquette. Well, there's only one Dean Smith. 